Hey, what's up? This is Vegas Morgan, and uh, just wanted to share with you guys a little tutorial for Cool Edit Pro. Uh, I believe it's 2.1. I was uh, looking for some new ideas and stuff uh, for Cool Edit because, as much as I know about the program and as, as many years as I've been using it, uh, there's always more you can learn and stuff. And, like, as I was looking through, I started watching some of the tutorials that are on YouTube, and I realized that, like, I swear to God, if you go through like 10 videos you might get the full gist of what you're doing but there are like zero good tutorials out there that really explain anything or like tell you like exactly how to do stuff and I think that's crazy so if you're looking for you know a good production kind of study and uh, a little bit to uh, teach you how to do stuff and show you what I do and uh, you know basically what I'm saying is I'm gonna show you what I do and it creates very good vocals but I'm also gonna explain to you a little bit like what you can do to kinda uh, play around and, and test it and see if it you know works for you because it's not necessarily gonna be correct for every person and I'll explain why here in a minute but uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and go to cool edit open your uh, your tracks up or whatever and uh, you're gonna open it up or select it till it's uh, you know main cut and that first little bit there, you just want to cut that out, or you can silence it or whatever. You don't need it. It won't affect anything. And you want to double click to highlight everything. And you want to go to Click Pop Eliminator and hit Auto Find All Levels. And it takes a little bit for this to go through. But uh, trust me, it's worth it because all those little pops and stuff you might not necessarily hear to the naked ear. Trust me, they're there. Um, it gets rid of all those. Uh, a lot of that can be from feedback. Uh, and if you're using an auxiliary mic with no uh, interface or whatever, um, a lot of USB mics have them built in. Uh, after that, you're gonna you're gonna want to go to hiss reduction, and uh, in your hiss reduction, you never want to use high hiss. Use the light hiss. The high hiss is just garbage. Like never use it. I don't care how bad your hiss is or feedback or whatever. Now you're gonna want to do any of your equalizers before you do your compression. So the first thing we do is we're going to go to our parametric equalizer and I like to use Mackie High Boost because I have a deeper voice. You can play around with these but I think Mackie High Boost is the best so use that. Make sure it's set on Gaussian. Uh, then go to your uh, graphic equalizer and select Spit Clear. You don't have to change anything. Just leave it as it is. Hit OK. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your FFT filter. Uh, my computer's running slow where I have the screen recorder running. But go to FFT filter and go to mastering heavy and wide and make sure it's set on Gaussian. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but make sure it's set on Gaussian or whatever. But mastering heavy and wide. You don't have to change anything else, just hit OK. and uh, once you have that done that's pretty much all your equalizers now here's something I like to do but you don't necessarily have to do I'll go to the reverb and don't select any of the presets just leave it how it is but down on your perception take it all the way to zero leave your mixing and everything at hundred percent leave everything kinda you know the way it is but make sure your perception uh, where it says echoey or smooth or whatever take it all the way to the left there and put it at zero and once you have that set up properly just hit OK now I do that because it, it doesn't really add a lot of echo but it just adds that little like extra hint you don't have to do that it won't change a whole lot but I just like the way it sounds um, next thing you're going to you know want to do you don't necessarily have to do this is go to your hard limiting now it should automatically pop up at negative point one six seven one hundred you don't have to change anything else just make sure that little box was clicked or whatever just hit OK you're good to go and you see how that expands and uh, actually yeah I completely screwed up there don't do the hard limiting yet sorry go to your dynamic processing and actually go down to vocal comp fast attack you'll see me click it right here there vocal comp fast attack do that first um, you know hard limiting isn't necessarily equalizer so just wanted to check and see how long this has been recording but uh, yeah do your dynamic processing vocal comp and then do your hard limiting like I said negative point one six seven one hundred make sure the the link button is uh, clicked or whatever hit OK and then after you do that the reason I had you do that is because then it's gonna expand it 
and there my computer's screwing up again, but go back to your dynamic processing and use the uh, DS or light and uh, just hit OK. And that's pretty much the last thing you need to do. Um, now, what I was saying is that's not going to necessarily work for everybody. The hard limiting is not necessary. A lot of times you need to uh, play with it and stuff. Um, I was going to show you how to do the old time radio thing and a proper way to use it. But uh, instead of showing you guys everything, I just was going to do a, a quick run through of some certain things. Um, a lot of times, especially for rappers, if you want kind of a uh, like a little bit of effect without having to work too hard, um, just go to your, oh yeah, uh, before I do that, I was going to show you guys, uh, a lot of times if you have a deeper voice, especially after you did the uh, Mackie High Boost, go to your equalizer and just raise the high levels up to about a five, check it and see, you know, if you get that, you know, crisp, clean cut and uh, just raise it accordingly but remember uh, you're raising the treble so if you have a lot of treble in your voice you're not going to want to do that um, but anyway so what I was saying is if you want a couple cool effects you can do a stutter effect and all you have to do is highlight the particular part that you want um, to actually do it on and uh, say like you say something in particular or whatever um, let's say fuck that bitch um, you could and you just you want fuck to stutter just select that particular word or whatever you want to do it in the full view you don't want to select the individual track you want to do it you know like as the the main view uh, select that and you can just hit cut and it won't remove it it just kinda cuts it to an individual block and then you can hit copy take it down to a empty track paste it and you can paste it as many times as you want and kinda add that little stutter effect uh, it's pretty cool for a lot of things. Um, another thing you can do that's pretty easy is uh, go to your full reverb. Like when you do your ad libs, uh, it doesn't really work for singers as well as it does rappers. But on your ad libs or whatever, or your second track, go to your full reverb and use, um, I think it's medium concert hall crisp. And turn the perception down just a little bit, down to like like 5 to 10 is what I usually use kinda of play with it find out what works best for you and I just go ahead and add that and it adds kind of just a little bit of echo and uh, feedback it sounds pretty cool underneath uh, your main lyrics I uh, wouldn't recommend it using using it on the main track uh, but another quick thing for uh, you guys take off is uh, if you want that like what I like to call the Phil Collins thing uh, from like in the air tonight uh, it adds a really cool like uh, effect. I you know it almost sounds like a poltergeist effect. Uh, go to uh, your track and select it and everything. After you get done, you know doing whatever you're gonna do to it and mastering it and whatever, and uh, go ahead and like highlight it all, and uh, find your uh, in your effects reverse. Uh, usually you can just go to the like little top menu that says effects, and just reverse it. Uh, after you reverse it, go to your full reverb and pick out a good reverb uh, that you like, a full reverb uh, like the medium concert hall crisp is a good one just leave the echo as it is uh, you know turned up even more however you want to do it and just get a good echo on there and then once that's done make sure it's all selected again and reverse it back to normal and what you get is kind of like an echo leading up to what you're actually about to say and it sounds really cool for certain things I wouldn't recommend using it all the time uh, it can get kind of stupid but for particular songs especially like some hard-hitting songs it sounds really freaking cool in the background uh, I, again I wouldn't recommend using it on your main track it's gonna sound really weird if that's like your main vocals but an ad-lib track secondary track whatever <clears throat> it's gonna sound great but uh, that's all I got for you guys I hope you uh, learned something from this I hope you agree with me but please guys remember do not do your compressions before you do your equalizing. Make sure you get all your equalizers done, your filters, whatever. Do all that first and then do your compression or your dynamic processing, whatever. Uh, that's going to give you the best results. And I know a lot of times people mess that up and they wonder, like, why is it not, you know, perfect studio quality? Uh, that's usually why, guys. Uh, there's also another setting called Kill the Mic Rumble. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's in, but it, you, you guys can find it. Um, that's a good one if you have, like, a shitty microphone 
and then uh, like it doesn't have to be the best microphone or you know the worst microphone but if you have that like midline you know decent enough microphone that kill the mic rumble helps a lot with kind of that static and stuff so you can always use that too but that's all I got for you guys uh, I hope this was helpful and everything but uh, check out my videos uh, listen to some of my music and uh, check it out guys all right peace Trying to keep the peace.